Hello everyone. Today's video is food for thought. It is should you or should you not manually polish the metal to metal parts of your handgun. And if you do not, should you naturally shoot the gun to end up with the same effect. The first school of thought, which is manually taking the time to polish parts, metal to metal parts on your handguns, is a very good school of thought. Because doing so, you will learn in very detail every part of your handgun. And it is very important because this way you'll be able to follow the wear. If you are shooting your gun a lot, you will be able to follow the wear and tear of your weapon. And as soon as you can take it, your gun to the range after polishing those parts, the trigger will be right there where you want it. Smooth, ungritty, and polished. The second school of thought is just take the gun and go shoot it. Now, with that, you're going to spend more time and money on ammunition and time to shoot the gun up to the point where it gets polished. And that will take two, three, four or 5,000 rounds to end up to the same point that a manual polish will do. But it is going to end up to a more efficient polishing. And let me give you two examples. This gun has not been polished because I like to go shoot my gun. I have the time and the ammo and I reload, so it's not too expensive. But look at this. This is an area where nobody would have thought to polish it. Why? Well, it's not supposed to have metal to metal contact. But because a handgun is made by men, it's not perfect, and well, this trigger will rub against the frame. And so by shooting it, and I shouldn't shoot it on empty, but by shooting it, this area which should have been gritty, even so you polished all the metal to metal parts of your gun, this area is still going to rub and so create some tension. Very little, I give you that, but still, that's the point of polishing the part, is to smooth out everything. The other area here is right by the hammer, and that again, nobody would have thought of polishing this area, or the other one if this area rubs, or any other parts that is not supposed to rub against another one. But that's okay because once you polish your entire handgun where it's supposed to be, then those little area will just smooth out with time and that is correct. On the other hand, if you go and shoot your gun at the range, every area, the rail, anything you have not polished uh, by hand will smooth out. And the gun is going to fall into place concerning metal to metal wear. As well, while you spend the, let's say, 3,000 round of ammunition to smooth out of your handgun, you are going to gain some knowledge of how to shoot that specific handgun, how you are going to react with it, how your gun is going to react with you. So you are going to accumulate a knowledge that someone just polished the gun is not going to accumulate. And then doing so, your finger doesn't seem like much, but is going to develop more muscle because at first you're going to have a gritty and, and stronger uh, trigger until maybe two, three, four thousand rounds when it smooths out. So your finger is going to get into muscle. So two different school of thought. I don't think one is better than the other. It's a personal choice. One costs more than the other. One is more detailed than the other, so you can learn more about your gun. But at the end of the day, it's the same thing. It's what you want to do with your gun, because it is your gun, it is your hobby, it is your life. So you choose one of the two, and happy shooting. Until next time, see you guys.